guys, it's Luis and Gilda. And today we're going to be doing the float and dine experience at Universal, so come along. With the immense popularity of the Ride and Dine event, many of our favorite food options were already taken. So we went with the cow fish, a very interesting three-story sushi burger and bar. Lots of options for the picky eater, but in our case, we try to stick to the basics to stay safe. While the check-in is downstairs, the restaurant is split among floors two and three and is smaller than what I look that it looks outside. With plenty of seating indoors and outdoors, we were placed near the bar in what looked like the kitchen entrance. Restroom signage was strange and the decor didn't make sense for us, and we wished there was a place that gave out more information. Let's kind of wait to see the menu and try this out. So we're in the Mardi Gras experience, um, and the way it works, this is prepaid, and each of us gets an appetizer, an entree, and a dessert. So I ordered the Parmesan bacon truffle fries because I do not have, I do not like fish. Um, Luis ordered the spicy togar, togar, togarashi shrimp. So let's see how that is. Yep. And it also includes a non-alcoholic beverage. So I had Diet Coke, Luis has sweet tea. And I ordered the uh, chicken bacon avocado uh, sandwich, but I took out the wasabi uh, sauce because, mm, no. Uh, and then Luis ordered the CBCLT, which is a, basically a burger, but he took out the bacon and the onions. Onion, yep. Yeah and all with french fries, of yep. course. So here we go, here's the shrimp. Okay. We're gonna give it a try. Got some little lettuce and some sauce there. Okay. Not bad, not bad. But again, the, in the case of the shrimp itself, Sasa makes the flavor, so it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. okay. Yeah, thank you. How was it? Good? Okay. Okay, very good. Okay, good. You, you just leave it at that? Okay. No. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think, Louis? I think it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'll leave it at that. Okay. I had to cut the pieces of my chicken because it was so massive and it was flopping sideways from the bun. So I cut pieces of my chicken and I put it on the side so I could eat it. The bacon is right over here. So yeah. All right. So what's here? What do you got? Um, the cheesecake, but without the blueberry compound. Okay. So let's try it out. It looks very interesting. And then I got. Just a regular milkshake here, vanilla milkshake. Of course, you can get chocolate and everything. We're just going with the basics here with two straws. But I'm, I'm actually going to share, so I'm yeah. just going to move it over to my side over here, so that way, you know. Okay, okay, I, I, that's okay. fair enough. It's all good? Okay. Mm. How is it? Mm. Good? Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool. Okay. So this is a fortune cookie actually, a real one. Let's see. Prevention is better than cure. That is so true. That is so true. So true. Yeah. Okay, so we just finished with uh, cowfish mm -hmm. and we're going to now head inside to Universal Studios for the check-in for the float. So Yay. here we go. Here's 
after the float come out, this is where we'll be coming out, and which is where we'll be coming in actually as well. Because yeah. in the case of Universal, it does like a circle, and it goes into the same place where it came out. Unlike Disney, that it goes in one way and goes out the other. So where did it go? Welcome. Okay, so we're all dressed up and now we wait for the main event and we Yay. got our purple color here. Yeah. So, we're ready. So we just got out of throwing some beats and that was awesome. Yes. So fun. Quite a workout though. Yes. It's our harder arms are than hurting. you think. Yes. So now well, let's see, uh, walk around here a little bit, see yeah. what's open so we get some uh, snack or something. Yeah. Okay. We want a snack. Yeah. It's the left of the parade from the other side. Look at all, all the confetti. And I think most of that came out of our float, right? Yeah. Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> 